Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Pokemon TCG opening. Today guys, I have, well I'm, I'm sure you guys know by the title, a second Pokemon Guardians Rising booster box. I actually titled the first, uh, tr uh, uh, the first booster box we did Rising Guardians because there's an old set. I didn't realize I did this wrong. There's an old set called Rising Rivals, and that was back in like the Diamond Pearl Platinum days. That was a long time ago, and that's immediately what I thought of when I did it. I, don't, I, I didn't expect to make that mistake. You can see how dusty my desk is. Oh my god, okay. I think before... I think before one of my next videos, I have to clean off my desk. It's it's messy. It happened. Well, it's not messy. It's just dusty. I also have this to open. We're not going to do this today. Well, I'm going to do it today, but it's not going to go up today. We're doing part one today. I'm excited. Be prepared for part two. I love this thing. For some reason, the wrappings on all of my booster boxes that I've gotten for Guardians Rising have been beat up, and I don't know why. I, I bought them from two different de uh, dealers. That sounds like like totally like druggy. Um, but two different distributors, I think is the correct way to say it. This one was Anime Forever or Pokemon Forever, something like that. Oh, I got it. Um, and the first one was Dariums. Dariums gave me a very good box. We got two secret rares, one being a Lycanroc GX secret rare, the other being an Aquapatch GX secret rare. If I got the same exact booster box, I'd be very happy. What I'm looking for in this booster box, what I need, um, GX wise, I need like everything. I really want a Lola Ninetales full art. I don't think Alola Ninetales is a very playable card. I think it's playable, but I think Lapras is just better in general than it. If you're going to do a water deck, I suggest Lapras. Um, but I really love the full art and the secret rare. I love all of it. We're going to jump into this. We're starting off with a top of Coco. I love all of it. I think it's just... I, I, I want Lapras. I don't want any more wishy-washies. Don't give me any more wishy-washies. I'm good on having two. The full art and the normal rare. Or the normal uh, one. Now... I think if I'm correct, the code card... Okay, good. I like to make sure that I don't accidentally see if it's green or white. Because if it's white, that means that the card is going... Or the, the the rare is either going to be a hollow or better if it's white. If it's green, it means that it's just a normal rare. So I don't like seeing that. We have a fire energy. We're starting with the uncommons too. I'm going to try doing that way today. Alamomola. Beware. Brooklyn Hill. Good card. I'll put that to the side. That's a good card. I like that card. Slowpoke. Machop. Helioptile, actually Brooklyn Hill isn't as good as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. It's still a good card, but I expected it to be a lot better. A little disappointed with how actually testing and playing with it. It doesn't work well in a Lycanroc deck though. Alolan Sandshrew, hey, a Reverse Sableye, that's a good card. And a Victory Bell, not a good way to start it. But I do need some normal rares. Um, well, I really want like one specific rare. I need Garbodor, I need two of them. I already have two, I need to get four. Actually, I think I really just need three, but I want to get four to have the playset of it. Um, I also, Link is trying to get my shirt, little guy. Um, I really also need Galiciopods. I really, really like them. I don't know if I'm saying that name right or wrong, but I like it. Galiciopod, I think is how it's said. I don't know. But I really want that. It's a hollow. Vulpix, Gothari, Gothita, Chansey, a electric energy. I already did it wrong. I meant to put the uncommons first. Energy Recycler. That's actually not that bad of a card, but I have tons of it. Slow, bro. Gothita. Gotharita? Yeah, Gotharita. And a reverse Gudra. I feel like I've got so many reverse Gudras. And a rare is just an Oricorio, which not a bad card. Not a bad card. I think once... I would say once things get rotated out, but I... The more I see it, the more I'm like, maybe that's not a good card. I was thinking about it like being in a Volcanion deck. It does make sense in a Volcanion deck, but I think you're fine. You could also run Brooklet. You can run Brooklet Hill in a Volcanion deck to get uh, Volcanion EX is out, which is kind of cool. Um, but I just don't see it being... I don't know. I, I think that normal Volcanion is 10 times better, basically. Alolan Geodude, a Fletchling, Petalil, a Beldum. Link is trying to jump up here as well. Alolan Volpix, a Water Energy. I think we're just going to keep doing this because I keep forgetting to put them in the front. Gotharita, Kamala, Rescue Shudger, that's a very good card. Oricorio, another very good card. And a rare is... Ah, Turtonator GX! Awesome! Okay, this is my second Turtonator GX normal holo, but I'm completely fine with that. I do like Turtonator a lot. I put it like that. I do like Turtonator a lot. I think Turtonator is an underrated card. Playing with him a little bit, I like him. I do. I actually really like him. His GX move very good in Volcanion decks too. I think a lot of this set benefits Volcanion EX, and I, I really, 
think that Volcanion EX is going to become one of the main cards. The only issue is it's weak to water, which in that sense, it's like Lapras can easily knock him out. So yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's one of those things where I think it's like the best deck, but it's got like a very big counter, which sucks. <laughs> and even sometimes it struggles against um, Decidueye. Thank you, Link. Which you think would be an automatic win. I know a lot of you don't know what I'm talking about, but you think it would be an automatic win against a grass deck, but it's not. It's, I don't know. I want it to be good, but yeah. Jangmo, oh, Taylo, Carvana, Barboach. Unfortunately, I think Decidueye, uh, Bioplume is still the best deck now, even with the set being out. Phantom, Steel Energy, Tentacruel, Max Potion, Machoke. Give me some, un give me some reverse Garbodors. Reverse Altar of the Moon. Okay, that's awesome. That's a very good card. And... Okay, so now I have three, which honestly might be enough because you want to usually, if you're doing like a Garbodor deck, um, a Trash Lance deck, you normally want to run one of the, uh, the, 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 the ability shut off, uh, Garbodors. I, I don't remember the name of it. Like the, it's out of, I think Breakthrough. I might be totally incorrect about that. But I do think you want to run one of those. So now that we have three, I'm happy, but I still want a fourth. I would love a reverse. I already have one reverse Garbodor. I'm pretty sure I do at least. So if I could get uh, some, just one or two more, I'd be more than satisfied. Uh, Wishy Washy, I was gonna say our, our rare. <laughs> Vanillite Clefairy, Rockruff, I love that Rockruff. Me and Shelby are actually planning on dressing Link up like a Rockruff. Yeah, that's how lame we are. I'm a Choke, which is actually good. A Energy Recycler, a Slowbro. Wimpod, which I'm looking for a Galusio Pot, so I'll take a Reverse Wimpod, and a Mini or Hollow. Uh, not, well, not what I'm looking for. I already have so I think Minior? Minior and Victini are the cards that are following me the most. The Hollows, at least. Not some of the better Hollows. Like I said, I really want Galistopod. Um, yeah. Minior is kind of cool. I love his second move, even though it's not, like, good at all. Well, it can be, but it's, it's not. I mean, I, like, I, I've said this before, but you can pair it up with Carving Break and make it somewhat viable, but it's not good good if that makes sense it's more of a fun deck i don't know but we have a beldum link is eating my shoe thank you link a rock rough a machop a trubbish deli bird psychic energy all right give me i haven't gotten a single aqua patch yet i'm, I'm clearing off my little area over here for cards aqua patch field blower that's another very good card need that pseudo another very good card lampant not a very good card and a reverse hollow which is nice and our rare is Salazzle. Actually, Salazzle's not that bad. I'll be honest here. I'm, I, I think there could be some Salazzle decks. I think Salazzle paired with certain cards might be good, such as like Garbodor, where you kind of force them to have to like make a move because they're burned and they can't really just sit there and like grind up energies on their main Pokemon. So if you evolve Salazzle, then they get burned or something weird like that or poisoned. I don't know. Let me actually read this. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon in play, you may leave the opponent's active Pokemon burned and poisoned. So you put them on a timer so they can't just sit there. So that might be very good paired up with Garbodor. Because you're forcing your opponent to have to get him out of there. Which might mean getting some rid of some of his resources like items. And a Garbodor's attacks do more. Wimpod, Gumi. A Darkness Energy. A Lampant. A Tentacruel. Max Potion. Still no Aqua Patches. A Golem. That's actually another Hollow that follows me around a ton. And our rare is... Oh, it's a Hunchcrow. Yeah, Hunchcrow. Hunchcrow is a very good Pokemon. I have tons of him. From pre-releases, I got like probably eight of them. I don't know why that was the one that I got the most of. I'm, I'm sleeving up the the Golem too because I like Golem. Golem's cool. Um, but yeah, I got a ton of Hunchcrows. Very good card. Possibly one of the more underrated cards. I think in Expanded, he's going to be pretty... I think he'll be okay. I don't think he's going to be amazing, but in Expanded, you have the... Um, Zubat to Golbat line where if you evolve them you get to put energy or damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon which can add up for Hanchiko's second attack which is just used with the double colorless. We have a Wishy Washy please don't be a sign of me getting a Wishy Washy GX anytime soon Gumi, Whalmer a Fairy Energy Clefable, give me some Aqua Patches I haven't gotten a single Aqua Patch yet Ooh, Choice Band, that's my first Choice Band too and our reverse is Vanillish, the Choice Band is good and our rare is uh, 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 Pangoro. Yep, Pangoro. God dang it. 
<sighs> Still sitting on one GX. I really, only one GX and one hollow. I, I don't know why, but it was the same thing with my last box too. Maybe it's just the sides that I choose are always really bad at the beginning. Because we end up having like a slow start, but like a strong finish, which sounds weird, but it's true. It sounds very weird, actually. Um, basically, I want to get, I want to make sure that I get at least one secret rare. I can't guarantee that, but I want one secret rare. I'll be happy with one secret rare as long as it's not a wishy-washy. I don't want to finish the wishy-washy line. Delibird, nose pass. I'm going to need to clean up my bulk over here. Cast form. Yeah, that's falling over. Phantom, Talo. A fighting energy. Choice bad. Give me Aqua Patch. Field Blower. Give me Aqua Patch. I have the perfect uncommons. Pseudo Wood. Almost. Close. Pseudo Wood. And a reverse Wishy Washy, which I guess isn't that bad. And our rare is Oricorio. I'm starting to learn all the moves and know exactly what they're going to be. I'm testing myself a little bit too. Not the best. Well, definitely not. Definitely not the best. Actually, that's one of the worst, worst rares I could get. I don't like that Oricorio. I don't think he's good at all. I think he's actually quite trash, if you ask me. I think he's not... He shouldn't even be an uncommon. I think he should just be a common. The uh, All the other Oricorios are very, very good. Or at least somewhat good. That Oricorio is just trash. We have a Gumi. Slowpoke. Mudbray. He even has one retreat. I checked if he had any retreat cost, and that might make him viable. Wishy-washy. A Psychic Energy. Watchog. Weeping Bell. Multi-switch. That's our first wish. Multi-switch, too. Give me some good uncommon. Link Blast. Oh, 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 got the tell. For some reason, I thought it was a Garbodor. And our rare is Power Gem, Energy Link, Probo Pass. Oh, I, <laughs> I would not have guessed that in a million years because I totally forgot he was in this. I'm telling you, I have the slowest starts when it comes to boxes. I, I don't know why. We've gotten one Hollow and one Ultra Rare. Which, like, I think we're guaranteed a certain amount of, uh, like, hollows and ultra rares on each side. But, like, we're not getting to any of them. And I actually saw what the code is. Mudbray. Salandit. I feel like that's my first Salandit I've said. Stuffle. Slowpoke. Wishy-washy. Water energy. Multi-switch. That's actually decent. A Fletchender. A little Graveler. Hey! Awesome! Okay, this card actually is getting more play now with Taku Koko and Raikou. Raikou is very viable because of this. And an Oricorio. One of the better Oricorios. I think it's probably my second favorite. I think the other Oricorio, uh, the Ghost Oricorio, is the best. Um, just because, for one specific reason, that Oricorio completely destroys Night March decks. Which, now, Night March is basically dead. And an Expanded... Night March runs rampant. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I apologize. We'll get out of the packs. Murkrow, Salandit, Nosepass, Talo, Rakra, a Grass Energy, Aqua Patch. There's our first Aqua Patch. Enhanced Hammer. That's our first Enhanced Hammer too. Glalie, Phantom. That's actually not a bad reverse. And our rare is was it Trevenant? No, it's a Lilligan. Yep. <sighs> Phantom reverse is nice, and we got an Aqua Patch. We still. One, two, we have six packs remaining, including this one in my hand. We're owed four cards. I expect to see some good stuff out of these last packs, or else I'm feeling jipped off, and I got a terrible half of the box. And I don't want a terrible half of the box. I want a good half of the box. I want a very good half of the box. All right, four, boom. I keep trying to remember to put it in the front, but I never do. Tentacool, Clefairy. Actually, it's probably better that it's not in the front, so you get to wait a little bit for the uncommons. Gligar, Vanillite, a Lightning Energy, Glalie, Watchhog, Weeping Bell, and our reverse is Tackle 20, the Patriot, yay, and our rare is, ooh, <gasps> Full Art Turtonator, alright, alright, I see you Turtonator, I like this card Turtonator, you did that while you're being a little Turtonator, I do like how this card looks a lot. I would have, I would have preferred, I th honestly, like, I kind of got my hopes up because I thought it was pink and I got really excited for a, uh, what's it called? A Sylveon GX Full Art or a, there's another purple one. What's the other purple one that I really like? Not Espeon, I'm thinking of Espeon. I swear there's a perp, there's a psychic Pokemon out of this. I don't remember, but I, I, I swear there was. There might not be, now that I'm thinking about it. I, oh, Tapu Lele. Oh, that's the other thing we really need. I need Tapu Lele. I forgot about Tapu Lele. 
If I get a Tapu Lele of any kind out of this box, I will be super, super ecstatic. Tapu Lele is way too expensive right now, I and mean, I do not want to buy one, but if I don't get him out of this box of the Elite Trainer, I have to. Well, I basically want two, so... Oh, I put Patch Red over here. A Pancham! Snow Runt. I'll skip a bunch of the uh, uh, normal comments, too. Vanillite. So, Fairy Energy. Energy Lotto. People are playing that. It's not that bad. Sableye. A Marini. Politoed. That's normally a hollow. Nice. And our rare is... Oh, what is it? Smash Turn. Oh, it's a Lola Sand Slash! Yay! <sighs> not the best. Not the worst. We did get a Politoed, though. I do like Politoed. I haven't looked at his attacks, but apparently he's not that playable. I'm not going to read it now, because we, we're going on for a little while here. Had to pause the video for a second, because we were about to hit the 16-minute mark, and I don't want my video pausing out on me randomly, like it always does. I don't know why, but every 16 minutes is like, nope, not happening. Link is trying to get back up here again. Go back to eating my shoe when not bothering me. Thank you. I'll be with you. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear him. He's whining. He's a little puppy. Yeah, you little puppy. Oh, I hit my microphone. I'm sorry, microphone. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. A Cottony. Carvana. Patrat. Gothita, he is getting close to getting up here. Good boy. Where's your toys? Where's your toys? Where's your toys? Look, Link. Look. Oh, you see that? Go get it. A cast form. Life of having a puppy. Fire energy. Give me another aqua patch. I want four out of this set. Oh, oh. Thank you. I saw that from the from the thing. Enhanced hammer isn't bad either, but I have tons of them. A reverse glalie and... Oh, it's a Delmize. Yeah! <laughs> I love trying to remember or see what card it is when I just slowly go up. I really like it. I don't know why. So we got two, four uh, hollows or better out of here. We've gotten a couple reverse normally hollows, a Politoed and a Lolan Golem. I think it's the only ones I've seen so far. I might have missed one or two. Um, but two of these three packs should have something good in them. We burned through so many freaking green codes at the beginning or we must have i haven't been looking but we must have that's what i'm saying please give me a secret rare that's all i'm asking for even just like a normal yeah you know give me a secret i'm asking for a secret cotton knee bell sprout or even a, a full art gligar i see something i see something i don't know if it's good or not oh, i know it's good but i don't know if it's good good i see Barclays up there. You guys can kind of see it too. Dark Energy. Beware. Brooklet Hill. Nice. I think that's our second one. Slagoo. Our reverse is... Can I guess what it is? Triple Spin. Um... Vanilla? Yeah! And our Ultra Rare is... <gasps> Double Go Go! Oh, I saw the Tapu and I seriously thought it was Tapu Layla. It's still a really good pull, don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm I, just getting myself hyped up for the wrong cards. I do love this card though. I put it in the wrong way, but oh well, I'll worry about that some other time. Tapu Coco is actually a good card and I do like him a lot. But he has a tin coming out with him as the GX, so I'm not all that sort of hyped for him as of, as of pulling him. That's also my second or third Tapu Coco I pulled. Link, you gotta stop jumping up on me, little man. I'm almost done with this video, then we'll go play. We'll go play, yeah. Give me that, give me that, ah, give me that. I have to, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm picking up one of his toys with my feet <laughs> and throwing it so that he goes and chases it. I'm a very good owner. I'm very talented at, at Link, you gotta stop jumping up on me, little man. I know, I know you just want to play. We have two bags remaining and then I'll go play with Link, don't worry. I'm just, I'm just trying to get this done with so I'm not wasting your guys' time. Machop, a Chansey, a Snow Runt, Pancham, Bellsprout, Steel Energy, Slagoo. I feel like I've gotten a lot of Slagoos. What? What are you whining about? You're gonna hit your head if you keep jumping that high. Energy Lotto. Oh, he's up here. <laughs> Sableye. Oricorio Reverse. That's actually a good. Link, no sniffing the camera. Hey, you guys wanna see him? Hi, Link. Say hi. Thank you. Thank you. I love you too. You gotta go down, though. Our rare is. Link, give me luck. Oh, Link, no, not the bulk. Swallow Dive. What is the. Hey, hey, stop it. No biting me. Now you gotta go down. No biting me. Swallow dive. Agility. Oh, swallow. <sighs> That's not particularly good. But this car, or this last pack, if I'm right, will have at least a hollow in it if we're lucky. Because you're supposed to get 12 per box, and normally you get six, or yeah, six white codes on each side. I have seen people get more, and I have seen people get less, but normally it evens out very well, and it becomes like 12 or 13. 
but we're hoping for the ultra rare and I'm doing my best not to cheat I'm gonna like yeah there we go Petalil, Helioptile, Tentacool, Stuffle, Alolan Sandshrew, a Fighting Energy, I checked to see if we were recording, Komala, Rescue Stretcher, okay good, that's the card I need, Alamomola, a Reverse Whalmer, and, is it a Kangaskhan? Loop in the Loop, what? Flame Charge, oh it's a Talon Flame, god dang it, we only got five on this side! Ah, uh, unless I missed one. I could have very easily missed one. But our pulls from this side were two Turtonators. Full art. I love that full art, actually. And a Tapu Coco. Very happy with this high. Well, not very happy, but I'm pleased with the GXs. And our normal hollows were Delmize and Minior. Still want the Golisiopod and still want the Tapu Lele. For some reason, I thought I wasn't ending the video there. But anyways, guys, get out of here. <gasps> well, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. <laughs> if you guys do like these box or these pack openings, I'm sorting my bulk right now. I probably shouldn't be. But if you guys do enjoy these, be sure to leave a like and tell me saying you do it. Because I I'm, I mainly buy these because I need some of the cards. But I also would just personally go and buy, like, Tapu Lele online because it's cheaper than buying a full box trying to find them. So if you guys do enjoy... I do these more for you. I normally would only open one or two boxes of these. But yeah, this is my second box, so yeah, I guess I would open two. But anyways, guys, get out of here. <gasps> you know, Clint, uh...